Hey guys, welcome to Jobber Radio. This is a brand new show called Show Off. And basically what we're going to do here, we're going to pit two people up against each other. One guy's going to run Raw, one guy's going to run SmackDown. They're going to draft a roster and then create a card. Five matches on one card. And that's it. Whoever creates the best show, the best five matches for one show, you guys are going to vote for the winner in the comment section. And by the next video that comes out, we'll award the winner. So everything's going to take place right here. The draft, the booking, everything's going to take place right freaking here right now. And first up on episode one, we got leading Raw, Scott. Scott, how are you doing? Are you ready to lead Raw to greatness in a great show? Oh, yeah. Uh, after the incredible draft Matt Zion and I had last year that we still all believe right. we right. won. Oh, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Me and yeah. Rab um, easily had that. No, no, we had the better card. Uh, but that's what this is about, right? So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. And leading SmackDown is going to be, I don't know, it, the other half of the Outsiders. We got Lee. Lee, are you ready to lead SmackDown overall? Yeah, what's up to all the marks out there? Here's how you actually build a roster and put on a host show that will entertain oh. people. Watch and list, listen and learn. Okay, here we go. All right, I like it. <laughs> um, so uh, the rules I'm, are on the screen right now. Basically, we're going to draft 13. We're going to do a 13-round draft. It's going to be back and forth, Raw, SmackDown, Raw, SmackDown, or SmackDown, Raw, SmackDown, Raw. We're going to do a little coin toss, see who goes first. And then we're going to go over and book the actual shows. And guys, let's let's get it started here. All right, since Lee, you are our coin toss caller in our uh, basically you are designated coin toss caller in our best of the business segment. So um, I'm going to have you call it here. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, and call it. Flipping it. Heads. Heads. It is. That means you get the first pick in the draft. And guys, I didn't point this out yet, but this is going to be the current roster. This is the current roster as of the posting of this video. Now, each um, each episode of Show Off, the roster can change. Sometimes we might do, I don't know, a 90s era or an 80s era or a ECW or independence or it might, it might fluctuate and change. But for this episode, it's going to be the current roster as of this date and time. So that's what we're working with. So oh, I Lee, just I just I just gotta say fantasy cards from the past make me wet. Yeah, there it is. There's a lot of potential yeah. in this show. I hope you guys like it. Um it's gonna take a lot of work to put it together, so a lot of editing. So anyway, here we go. Let's get it started. Episode one. Lee, who is your first draft pick in the show here? Who's it gonna be? Okay, and with this pick I'll just explain to the people listening that uh we have two separate uh well, actually, like three separate columns here to pick from. Uh, we have all the singles males. Uh, we have all the singles in the women's uh, division. And we have the tag teams separately. We're not splitting up tag teams in the show. So with that, I am going to be picking the Revival. The Revival. Wow. First overall, the Revival. Holy shit. All right. That's a good call. And thank you, by the way, for saying that. I did not uh, clearly state that. Yes, um, and so the Revival goes to SmackDown, first overall draft pick. So, Scott, Raw, who are you taking as number uh, well, I, uh, two here overall? I will also kind of fill in a little bit there. We can all uh, not, I also create a tag team out of that. So you mm -hmm, can't mm -hmm, put, mm -hmm. like, uh, this off the top, you can't put Apollo and Big Show together. They're singles, they get singles matches. Yeah. Um that said, uh, we're, we're going for the overall cards. Not like, oh, that, that was a good mania because of those two matches. We want the whole card to be good. Um, but I am thinking main event early. I'm just going to go with Brock Lesnar. Make that oh, easy. All right. Brock Lesnar <clears throat> off the board. The Revival off the board. So now, this is, by the way, this is snake format. So, Scott, you're going to have another pick. Let's go for oh, it. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, I will take an AJ Styles, please. AJ Styles. Off the board, Lee, two back-to-back -back picks. Who are you going for your next one? All right, let's look. Uh, okay, we're going to pick Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe off the board. So we got the Revival, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe. Who's next? Okay, uh, with that, then I'm going to pick... Hmm... I will go with 
I'm going to go Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah. damn you. I wanted both of those. Kevin Owens, okay. <laughs> Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, off the board. Scott, who are your next picks? I will take Finn Balor. Finn Balor, off the board, okay. And... Uh, hmm, hmm, got to think about the card here. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I will, it's interesting that I'm having this much trouble thinking now. It's like, oh, who do it's I okay. want? okay, you're good. Yeah, you can take your time here. It's all right. I'm um, gonna, and by the way, that's just, as you're on. cleaning up the list. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to <laughs> wipe names off the board as they go. Um, yeah. And just for anybody who's listening to this, if you hear any typing, that's me typing in. We have a spreadsheet here, and that's, uh. Me just type it into the spreadsheet ah, who they're drafting. So why not Nakamura? Nakamura. All right, Shinsuke Nakamura is gone off the board. That means we're gonna go straight over to SmackDown. Lee, who do you got? Okay. So got to figure in. And the hard thing is, as you're doing this, just you think about it as I'm talking. I'm just talking to help fill people in on what's going down. Uh, the thing that when you're drafting, you have to think about. Okay, I got to fill out a fucking card as I'm doing this. So that's the good the yep. beauty about this game is you got to think about yeah. who you're going to put against each and other. Now, if I'm correct, we won't even be able to use everybody in our matches. It's only five matches, right? That, yes, that is possible. You can do triple threat matches and oh, okay. so okay. on and so forth. Uh, I also, God, I should have I should have said this off the top, but um, as far as stipulation matches, you can't do every match can't be a hell in a cell. Um, I'm limiting it to lockdown. I'm limiting it to yeah. <laughs> Two stipulations per show, so um, nothing crazy. You know what I mean? I should have said that off top, but no, two is the max stipulations on a show. So all right, sorry, but you can't triple threat it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, you can do triple threats. Those don't really count mm. as stipulation, really. I don't think really. I don't count those tri- uh, stipulations. Yeah, no. But all right. So who you got? Um, uh, and just just let you know, you haven't taken AJ Styles off the list there yet. Oh, I haven't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry. Um. Because I was just about to pick him, and I was like, "No, wait, Scott already picked him." Yep. God damn it! <laughs> <bad>. um, <laughs> uh, okay, next off, I'm going to grab up Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is gone off the board. Okay, who Tempting. else? And after that, I'm going to grab. Um, okay, when we're look, so although these are these championships are brand specific where we're just kind of assuming that the titles are not brand specific for, for yes. this card the titles yeah. are okay. not brand specific yeah for this for these purposes yeah yeah okay. so if you take the champ you've got the champ yeah okay good okay so uh i'm gonna take the uh i'm gonna take cesaro and sheamus cesaro and sheamus off the board okay that's good for your revival i was i was looking at that yep mm. current, current champions off the board okay <clears throat> um going back over to raw next two picks who are you thinking about um Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm surprised. We got a lot of names on the board. We got Big Show first of all. Um, I think he that's, should. Be that, a... no, yeah, kidding. he's up. <laughs> no, shut up. Shut I up. actually <laughs> added Shane McMahon. Just gonna point that out there. I don't want to yep. tell anybody what to do, but there is a yeah, Shane I'm, McMahon on the board. I'm thinking about the best card I can build, and Shane McMahon's probably not on it. Okay, that's um. possible. <laughs> All the 205 Notice, though, live guys on no, the board as well. No Undertaker on this list. He retired, so he's yep, off the board. That's I true. appreciate that. That's true. I appreciate that. I also didn't um, put The Rock on just for, you know. That's fair. Yeah, because we're thinking current roster. Okay, so two names, huh? Yep, two names. Who you got? I'm looking at who I have. Who's there? Uh, Give me Braun. Braun Strowman. That's a good pick. All right. Braun and Strowman off the board. I'll take Braun and oh, hmm, hmm, and Kaliso dumpster match part two. No, <laughs> <laughs> how do you know? Um, ah, uh, do I take him? I, I'm, I'm debating one big here. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, that's not the one I was debating. Uh, I'll take Cena. John Cena. All right. Wow, goes pretty late, but he's gone. All right. Solid hand. (laughs) 
Yeah, I mean, he's decent. <laughs> he's not Again, like... I'm talking about, like, the fans voting. The fans are like, oh, fuck Cena. So I might have hurt myself a bit there, but... Yeah, you got to think about who people are going to actually yeah. like, too. But I'm uh, thinking it, it can be good. It can be good. SmackDown, next two picks. Who are you thinking? Okay, I will grab up Sami Zayn. Sammy oh, that Zane. was one I was debating, too. All right. Sami Zayn on SmackDown. And oh, now they can the... fight forever. Oh, <laughs> uh, and after that, I'm going to grab. Do I really want him? Uh... Yeah, we're at that stage. Yeah. Um... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to grab up Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins off the board. Really late, honest, too. That's I interesting. probably wasn't going to bother with Rollins. I'm just not a fan. Wow. Okay. So well, I'm not a fan that, either, but I'm, I'm thinking of I'm you thinking got some of ideas? Putting them. Okay, yeah, I have okay. some ideas. Well, here uh, okay. we go. Raw, it's now your pick. Um, I get two, huh? Yep. Thinking of looking at the board here, we still have current champions. We got Jinder Mahal. The Miz is still on the board. Neville's still on the board. The Uso is on the board, and both women's champions. No women. <clears throat> no women has been drafted yet. Mm -hmm. Alexa Bliss. Also, yeah. uh, <laughs> full disclosure, I'm not picking any of the women. So no. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. You don't have for to. a five match, uh, maybe, but no, I'm I'm not. Okay. Um, I'm even debating if I bother with tag teams. <laughs> to be honest. Sure. Um, though. Hmm. Hmm. I get two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll take the Hardy Boys. All right. Well, there you go. Hardy Boys going to Raw. Along with American Alpha. American oh, Alpha. You motherfucker. On <laughs> Raw. All right. Jumping back over to SmackDown. Whoa, you took the Kevin Owens to the Mole Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it went from hot to cold for me just there because he was like, I'm going to take the Hardy Boys. I was like, yeah, you go ahead and take those fuckers. And then you said American Alpha, I'm you motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was also right after, I'm not even going to take a tag team. Oh, wait. Then no, I realized two, a two match I can prevent you from having. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> I'm going to grab up the Ginger, Mah Ginger Mahal and the Bollywood Boys. Those will be my two picks. Wow. I like it. Wow, Jinder Mahal, the world Tactic champion deal. on SmackDown. It's one gimmick. you got to have all of it. As well as the Bollywood <laughs> yeah. boys, or whatever the fuck that's they good. call themselves. I guess that's what they call themselves. That's good, even if they're just in the corner. I like it. Yep. All right, and then that's right back over to Raw, then. Uh, let me take Roman Reigns. There he is. I can't believe he went this long. Ninth, uh, I was ninth debating, round. Like, where, do, where do I put him? What do I do with him? I wasn't sure. All right, yeah. starting um, the tenth round. Who you got? For it was iffy, pick? but I'll go with it. Roman and uh, I'm looking at my card, looking at what I'm working with. Um, hmm. I'll take Luke Harper. Ah, oh. okay. Luke Harper going to Raw. All right, SmackDown. Who's your tenth pick in the draft for you? Um. Okay. I'm amazed how it goes from all. Oh, this is easy to. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to grab up uh, Neville and I'm going to grab up Akira Tozawa. All right, we got I Neville. Was eyeing Neville for a while. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> then Tozawa off the board. All right, uh, Raw. You have three picks left, Raw. Who is your next pick? Um, can I get the Miz? Yes, you can. The Miz going to Raw. And hmm, now should I take Maurice just to fill in there? I mean, if you want, like, uh, if you want. You didn't even list her actually. She's not on the roster. Oh, uh, probably. But you'd allow that, I'm sure. Yeah, um, yeah, she can just be there by his side. Yeah, that's no problem. Like, yeah, would I have to draft her to have No, that? no, 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 no. All right. She's more like, of a... Lesnar gets Heyman, so... Yeah, she's like... more of a, yeah, manager. Okay. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, so, Miz, and I will take... Ascension. No, wait. No. <laughs> no, not Ascension. Okay. <laughs> no. I will take Rusev. Mmm. Uh, That's a good pick. Pretty late in the draft. Sleeper pick there. It's, All it's right. Sleeper. Sleeper, So, definitely. SmackDown, these are your last two picks. This is pick... Round 12, and then pick 13 for you. Um, these are your last two picks in the draft. Who do you got, Lee? 
Who's going to SmackDown? All right. Um, I will grab up. Let's see here. Uh, okay. What do I want to do with that? Yeah, that might be good. Okay, I'm going to take up... Uh... Shit, will he qualify? No, he won't qualify for that. Uh... Hmm. Mm -hmm. I will... I will grab... Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, mm. okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> for Smack mm. SmackDown's Shit. final pick. I was hoping to sneak him in there for the team. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And I will grab... Uh... Ellsworth? No. <laughs> uh, no. Former title contender, come on. Def yeah, definitive no there. Um, uh, who do I look... Who looks better in that match? What do I got here? I got... Okay, him and... Yeah. Oh yeah, you want to. Oh, I get one and I'm super debating on who I pick on it. Yeah. I'm hoping Lee makes it easy. I'm gonna grab Brian Kendrick. Not who I thought. Damn it, doesn't Brian make Brian Kendrick, the last <sighs> pick. Very nice though. Of SmackDown. Alright, Raw, that means you get the last pick here. Who is it gonna be? Who's the last person drafted? Oh god. It's either one that's like, oh obviously, I know what this match is, or hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh... New day. All right. Take hmm. the new day. New day it is. New... I was this close to Ambrose. New day it is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm obviously, I've been sitting there like, wow, nobody's picking Ambrose. We, no, nobody's I picking did, Ambrose. I did, I... I don't see a spot for him on what I'm trying hey, to build. That's so fine. It's just not happening on the cards. Also, no Orton, by the way. No Orton. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, just a couple names that were not drafted. Orton, Ambrose, uh, Baron Corbin not drafted, Ziggler not drafted. I, I would have, I would have, I actually would have drafted Corbin if I could have grabbed Luke Harper, but he stole that away from me. Oh, so. I, that would have been a good match. No, uh, no yeah. Ty Dillinger. I instantly want to see that now. Damn. No Ty Dillinger, Ty Dill no Austin no. Aries, no Austin no, Aries. I almost took Aries as my last. Pick. The the Usos, the tag team champions, not drafted. Um, I would have I would have took Austin Aries if he had uh, at this point turned into a full <laughs> full fledged heel. I would have taken him. Yeah, uh, and also no women drafted. So we're gonna have all male roster here for the uh, for the uh, shows. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna take if like a. There were Six matches, we would have got a women's match, but <laughs> well, well, well. Here, here's what I kind of figure because I'm going to be watching this card from my uh, private box. Uh -oh. uh, Mickey, Mick, Mickey James is drafted to my private box overlooking the ring. But, there you uh, go. Oh, <laughs> if we get one for that, oh, who? Do, hmm, Becky or Lana? Oh. Mark Henry. Mark Henry. <laughs> Take Mark Henry. Um, totally you know what? It. No, uh, Becky's. A, I like Becky. I'll go with Becky. Lana's. Yeah, uh, Becky's. She, she'll be with. She'll help out. Lana's not really Russian. She's a liar. It's okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does a good lie. It's fine. It's 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 okay. <laughs> all right. So now it's time to build the cards. First of all, we're going to go with Raw since SmackDown won the first pick. Raw is going to make the first match. So basically how this is going to work, Raw is going to build their opening show match. And then SmackDown, we're going to go back and forth, back and forth. SmackDown is going to build their opening show match. And then SmackDown again, the same way we did the draft. Makes sense? You guys got that? Makes sense? Mm -hmm. So okay. I'll set the first match on my card. Yep. He'll set his first two. Yep. And then you do two. Okay. Yep. Back and forth. It's called a snake order. So that's what we're going to okay. do. Here we go. Raw, are you ready? Who is in the first match of Raw here? Um, five total matches, by the way. Anybody listening? Yeah. Five total matches. A five match card. From a roster of 13 draft picks, I yep. have three teams yep. in mind. 
Um, it's funny because I just opened up a notepad to work out, like, all right, so he's there, he's there, he's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to open up with a triple threat. Okay. It is, I want it to be elimination as well, just because that's more fun with the participants. Nice. Okay. It will be for the IC title. It will be the Miz. Okay. Defending against Rusev and Luke Harper. Hmm. First Luke Harper. Okay. So yeah, hmm. so yeah, just pick the winner and we'll go from there. Yeah. Who okay. you got? So what I have here is the Miz, bad guys got Maurice. We got Rusev out there, no Lana, but you know, that would have been fun. <laughs> to, to have those two in that dynamic. And Luke Harper, crazy batshit, fan favorite as he is. Mm. We're gonna open with Riz and uh, uh, Riz, yeah, Riz and Musev mm. are, <laughs> are in there. Yes, that that's how they're going. Um the way I see it, Harper is going to get the win on that, but it's going to be Rusev taking out Miz to kind of show dissension in there, and Miz not able to make this work. And then Harper takes out Rusev, start the crowd off happy, title change. Wow, title Harper change right off the bat. Okay. That, that's, that's how I see that going for that. All right. By the way, this is Raw, so I presume it's Great Balls of Fire is the name of my show or some shit. So. <laughs> hey, if, hey, if you want to call it that, <laughs> go for it. I get saddled with that or something? I don't know. If you want, yeah, go for it. No. All right. No, I don't want. <laughs> so, SmackDown, what are you going with for your opening match? Okay, we're going to take uh, Neville versus Akira Tozawa versus Z. Brian Kendrick for the Ooh. Cruiserweight title. Another triple threat. All righty. Yep. Neville versus Tozawa. And you said Kendrick. Okay, so who do you have winning this bad boy? Okay, so it's going to be uh, Akira Tozawa winning. Okay. And uh, the sort of dynamic I was going for here is that, of course, there's the feud between Kendrick and Tozawa that's been going on uh, that I guess it's it's been ended since since uh, since now. But um, just just the in the back of people's minds, two heels, one face, and they work together for a while. And Neville's an arrogant prick. And eventually there's dissension and Tozawa just wins yeah. with his German suplex finisher, which... Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that means we're going to follow up with the next match for SmackDown. Who do you got? Okay, from there we're going to go with... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I was going to do that. So we're going to have a tag team title match. We're going to have Cesaro and Sheamus versus The Revival. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I bet I know who wins. <laughs> yes, the Revival is going to win this one. It's going to be the... It's probably going to be the work rate match of this card, I'm thinking. Okay. And I'm almost kind of... I'm almost, almost kind of thinking this will... Might put the Revival over his faces, but... Uh, I'm going to book against that in the future if I was to book in the future. But uh, for now, I just want a really great match and I want to put the titles on the better team. So that's where it is. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You got uh, Neville, Tozawa, Kendrick, and then you got Cesaro, Sheamus versus The Revival. You got two title changes right off the bat, starting off the mm -hmm. show big time here. Okay. Very interesting. Not, not fucking around. I want. I want my. Uh, I want my show to have the right champion. And as so, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at this. Uh, the only champion you draft? No, you did. Tra you drafted. Um, talking about Raw champion. here. You drafted the Intercontinental <clears throat> Champion and the Universal Champion for Raw. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you only have, you have two titles. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Moving on. Raw. What is your second match on the card? Now, I've admittedly got a little bit of a problem in the order I put these. It just doesn't feel right to put this one here. Um, but putting one of my other matches here makes even less sense. Therefore, this one goes here. Um, unfortunately, it is another triple threat. However, it is a TLC. Whoa, okay. It is Hardy's Alpha Ooh. and New Day. All right, so you got Hardy's versus American <clears throat> Alpha versus the New Day in a TLC yep. match. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go TLC on that because I don't have tag titles to go with, but it's the Hardys and TLC. Right, so that go. means you only have one more match stipulation that you can use on your show, just so you know. Yep. Okay. All right, so who which, do you got winning uh, this bad boy? Uh, which combination of New Day are you using? Um, I'm seriously debating if they can all be included, technically, because they were in the Elimination Chamber. 
But I like the idea that, like, after... If you go canonically, if, like, the one that wasn't part of it pulls an Ellsworth, it doesn't count. So right. I, I think you want to have uh, Kofi in there definitely. Mm-hmm. And I think Woods, simply because you could have... Well, no, you know what? Put, uh, Kofi and Big E. Because Big E can do some crazy shit with a ladder. And Woods yeah. can flop around a bit on the outside, too. So, yeah, it's Kofi and Big E on okay. that. Um, now, who wins that? They do try to get it with Big E. Um, I see the Hardys are probably the ones going for it, but I think American Alpha takes this. Um, Ooh, okay. And the Hardys, uh, uh, everybody sees it. They end up broken. There's no lawsuit in my world. So <laughs> that's that's the future of that. Um, but Alpha takes it. They get the win. People talk about the dream match between them and, and Revival on the other brand, blah, blah, blah. But Alpha wins that one um, okay. over New Day because stuff gets broken with the Hardys. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So there you go. What is going to be? Match. Yep. What's going to be that third match on the card for Raw? This is where it gets tricky because I've got basically five people in two matches, and how do I split them? Um. Uh, yeah, I've got to put this one here because of that. Uh, is that there? Okay. So if I get one more stipulation. Yeah. Only one more stipulation. Do they get it or do they get it? Well, fuck it. The match is John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Okay. Because we're just going to go ahead with that. And I'm debating a stipulation on it. I'm not sure. Do I save it for up there? No, I like that being pure. Um, I'll use a stipulation here. I know it might be like, oh, stipulation, have we get the start? But it'll, it'll mellow out as we go. It'll be fine. Um, I want this last man standing. Last Man Standing, Uh, interesting. interesting. These two, I like it, because then it forces the audience to be into it and get along with it and actually pick someone. They don't just want it to be over. They're actually invested in the counts. I think that's the way to make that work. Um, Also, Reigns goes full heel when he beats him, because fuck off! Oh, he's got the heel turn. Okay, so so you said who wins now? Oh, Reigns. Reigns wins. Reigns does win. Yeah, Cena comes back after not being there for six months. Gets beaten by Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because that's going to lead towards stuff in the future in our world. I'm already thinking like further down the, the, the months on this go. card. God damn it. <laughs> hey, all right. So not bad. That's going to be hard to top, Lee. Are you ready? We got two new matches from uh, Lee. Here we go. What is your third match on the card, the middle match of the show? What's going to be? Okay. This is a little tougher. Um Okay, I'm going... That was the team I was going to put together. Okay, we're going to do Bray Wyatt okay. versus Samoa Joe. Ooh. And this is going to be... <clears throat> this is going House to be... House of Horrors match. <laughs> no, no, it's not going to be that shit. Um... <laughs> We're gonna do we're gonna do Samoa Joe versus Bray Wyatt in a first blood match. Wow, I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, I want to bring there's, blood back to the Federation. So there's no PG in your world either. I like it. No. Yeah. Okay. And and I'm and I'm kind of banking on the idea of um, getting Joe into a face position as well. I'm kind of thinking that. Okay. For okay. a future main event consideration. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, Steve. <laughs> We're showing you how this shit works. All right, so who do you got winning? You got Joe winning? Yeah, Joe's going to win that one. Sorry, Bray. You, you always lose. I was about to say, yeah, he is the whipping boy. Yeah. Always gets the loss. All right, so who do you got? SmackDown for the fourth match. The match before the main event. What's it going to be? Okay, this is going to be... So as you're thinking about that, just for everybody listening and watching right now, right now SmackDown still has Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Jinder Mahal, the Bollywood Boys, and Chris Jericho left to pick from. So just if you're keeping track. Yeah. Okay. And I actually kind of booked myself into a corner with this one, but um, and I'm not going to do the obvious one. I'm going to I'm going to do. Uh, 
Will I do that one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I hate my decisions now because I'm like, which one do I do? <laughs> yes. I I actually look at my picks now. I'm like, oh fuck, that's kind of tired. But um, I'm gonna do. I'm just, I'm just gonna do uh, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the United States title. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to make that a submission match. Hmm. Right. And I'm Sorry. going. So that means you I'm are going... now out of uh, match stipulations. Yep. And is it for the title, by the way? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, and Chris Jericho is going to go over. Wow, Jericho becoming a two-time champion. Yep. Uh, U- uh, United States champion, by the way. In case uh, you're telling when you're listening to this or watching this, but. Cool. Kevin Owens defending his title against Chris Jericho. That means you have three title changes happening so far in SmackDown. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to wait a little bit longer for the main event. Going over to Raw, what is going to be your fourth sh- uh, match on the show here? Because uh, this is where I'm like, which one gets this guy? Yep, you're out of match stipulations. <laughs> both, both shows right now out of match stipulations. No more stipulations here. And for those paying attention, my first five draft picks are the ones I have left. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right now, Raw has Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Braun Strowman left to book here. So, <clears throat> who you got? Um, while I stall, um, you're a triple threat lead. That's not elimination, is it? No. It's a, cru- it's a sprint for the cruiserweights. Okay. Yeah, I, I was actually going to do an elimination until you picked it. So, <laughs> but then I, I was also just kind of thinking the dynamic of two, two heels in one face and how that yeah. could just be a longer storyline. So I was like, okay, he, he picked elimination match. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. My, that's how mine goes with the, 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 the contrast. Yeah. Um, so that, that's, that's my stalling done. Um, fuck. <laughs> um, well, it's either, it's either a singles or a triple threat. Because then the the main event is either a singles or a triple threat. But then I looked at the names and went, well, maybe put him there. Well, now, by the mm. way, you do not have to use everyone. If you don't want to, you do yeah, not have want... to use everyone. You oh, the, uh, like I'm going to leave out one of those five Well, people. true. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah. It's not you happening. Can, yeah, but you do not. There's no requirement where you have to oh, use no, it's people happened. drafted. It, they're, they're all getting used. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, spoiler, the universal title is the main event. Um <laughs> So you know where Lesnar's going. He's not in this match. But what? who's his opponent? We shall see in a moment. Um, well, fuck. <laughs> this is harder than I thought it would be for which match I build. Because I, I took someone out of the Cena-Reigns match to, put, to keep, him, keep him here. Um, I like the craziness of this dynamic. Let's go. AJ Styles. Okay. Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, wow. Okay. And Braun Strowman. Wow, triple threat match. I, mm. like, the, I like the dynamic of Braun being air to, me- to mess things up. These guys are going to want to fight each other from their history, but then Braun doesn't want any part of that, and it goes back and forth where they get to go against each other, and then he fucks shit up, and they have to team up against him, and then he gets some, some, uh, some stuff against them, and then they go back each other, and it, it'd be a great back and forth. Mm-hmm. But it is not elimination, so it's like whoever gets that win, and I see it coming down to Braun somehow getting kind of taken out somewhere. It's down to AJ and Nakamura. This is obviously a long-term thing on Raw on my brand. So for this one, I see AJ winning because he AJ would go on Styles to gets the title win. type contention later. And hey, that means main event. Yeah, it's Lesnar and Balor. Um. All I was right. honestly debating putting AJ in there against Lesnar, but nah, he'll be the contender. It's who they want to see for later. Um, but does Lesnar beat Balor? I, oh. um, I want... I, if this is just like, if this is this one show, we're not thinking long-term planning, even though we clearly are. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want Balor to win. I want the fans happy. I want that kind of thing. It takes... A lot. He's he's demon for it, obviously. Um, he wins it, so it sets up Balor versus AJ. That's the the oh the the thought nice. process there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's 
the, the, even though they're going home happy with what they saw, they still get the future thought too. So Ballard defeats Lesnar on that one. Um, okay. I like Lesnar winning it for AJ Lesnar, but that can still happen too. Maybe they're the contenders for later or something. But yeah, Lesnar uh, loses to Ballard. So so far of all the championship matches that have happened, that's true. Nobody's retained. Nobody's retained yet. That is my main event of the show. All right, so now we go to SmackDown. What is the SmackDown main event going to be here? Okay, we're going to have Jinder Mahal versus Seth Rollins for the title. Okay. And I picked the other guys there basically specifically for this, that they would be in the corners of certain people. So the Bollywood boys, of course, would be in the corner of Jinder Mahal. Okay. And Sami Zayn would be in the corner of Seth Rollins to protect him. And my thinking of this would be a, a storyline revolving around Seth Rollins coming in, challenging for the title, looking for people to back him up, and no one wants to back him up because everyone remembers what a fucking dick he was as a heel. Uh, and the only guy who believes in him is Sami Zayn, and Seth Rollins is going to win the title mm. because Sami Zayn does all kinds of crazy shit with the Bollywood boys outside the ring, keeping them away. And then, of course, you can do the storyline down the road of where Seth turns on Sammy, and you get that feud. All right, so you got Seth Rollins winning the title. So every title has changed hands on both of these shows here. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so let's break it down. We got both shows complete here, five matches apiece. SmackDown, we're going to start off here. First match, Neville versus Tozawa versus Kendrick for the Cruiserweight title. Tozawa gets the win. Then the tag team titles on the line. Cesar and Sheamus defending against the Revival. The Revival wins the titles. And then Bray Wyatt versus Samoa in a first blood match. Bringing blood back to SmackDown. Samoa Joe wins. Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho then in a submission match. For the United States title, Chris Jericho wins. Now, I don't. Did you say whether or not like the finish was it uh, Walls of Jericho? Was it something different? Was it? Uh, it would. I mean, it would have to be Walls of Jericho, really, because that's. Yeah. But uh, I'll, I'll say that no, actually, it wouldn't be Walls of Jericho. It would be the fucking Lion Tamer. He'd bust out the Lion Tamer. Oh, knee on the neck. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. He, he'd get me. He'd get mean because he, he he's at this point now where Kevin Owens has beaten him a couple times, and he's like, "Okay, I'll bring out the old Chris Jericho and fuck you up royally." So I there like you go. It. Cool. Uh, and then SmackDown rounds out with Jinder Mahal with the Bollywood Boys in his corner going against Seth Rollins with Sami Zayn in his corner, and Seth Rollins wins the WWE title. Um, yeah. So that's SmackDown. Over to Raw. We have a triple threat elimination match. The Miz versus Rusev versus Luke Harper for the Intercontinental title. Luke Harper is going to get that win. So who gets, I don't know if you said that as we were going through it, but at the end here, who gets eliminated first and then who gets eliminated last? Oh, um, no, uh, Miz gets eliminated first by Rusev, oh. making him that bigger of a threat. So it, then everybody knew the title would be changed yes, after that. Yeah, okay. they, they teamed up and then Rusev was like, nah, fuck it, and took him out. Okay. As, as expected. Um, because Miz it, it didn't get to pull his shit over him, and then mm. Harper and Rusev brawled, and Harper gets the win. Okay, well there you go, Luke Harper, the Intercontinental Champion. Um, and then we have a TLC Triple Threat Tag Team Match: the Hardy Boys versus American Alpha versus the New Day, which is Big E and Kofi Kingston representing the New Day there. And you got American Alpha getting the win, the big win over the two established teams. And then you have John Cena versus Roman Reigns in a last man standing match with Roman Reigns getting the big win. He's beat fucking everybody now. You even got him beating John fucking Cena. <laughs> yep. But that's that's that that's it. That's that you yeah. you get it right. That's yeah, I, the I point. see what you're saying. Yeah. And he turns heel. Don't forget. Don't forget. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We got a Roman Reigns heel that's turn. That's the key. That's the key on on Raw there. Um, and then we got AJ Styles versus Nakamura versus Strowman in a triple threat match with AJ Weird Styles. Match, I know, but <laughs> right, well, I mean, you know, but I it, like it. I like it. I can see that working so well. So you said the point of that was to like kind of crown AJ as a number one contender. You said kind of. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. All right. Well, there you go. AJ Styles kind of being the number one contender going, and then 
the to face off against the universal title match, which would be Lesnar versus Finn Balor, with Finn Balor getting the big win over Brock Lesnar, becoming the universal champion, leading to an AJ Styles Finn Balor match later. But yep. uh, guys, there it is. There's Raw. There's SmackDown. Now it's time for you guys in the comments below. Whether or not you listen to us all the time, whether you stumbled upon this video, post down below who got the win. Did Raw have the better show? Did SmackDown have the better show? And we're going to tally up the votes. And basically, whenever we come out with episode two, we're going to tally them up and we will announce the winner on the next episode. And the winner will go on to face a new competitor. Basically, if Lee wins, he's going to face a new challenger. If Scott wins, he's going to face a new challenger. So we're kind of going to do the the winner stays match, if that makes any sense, kind of, on show off. So mm. we'll see how long uh, somebody can defend the crown, I guess, basically, is what we'll, uh, what we'll go with here. Yeah. And uh, yeah. all I got to say to all those, uh, all those people out there listening to this, don't be marks. Be smart marks and vote for SmackDown Live. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Going you know for votes. You, you know what you got. It's it's raw. Come but, on. But, yeah, try to – I know this this match might not be as biased as others because I know when Matt Zion gets on, it's going to be – obviously your your gut instinct says vote Matt Zion. But try, try to just look at the card and vote <laughs> for what you actually would want to see over one another. So, basically, is it raw? Is it SmackDown? You can, you can give an explanation if you want. You don't have to. Just say raw SmackDown if that's all you want to do. Um, and guys, I guess that's it. We're going to leave it up to the votes. The votes will determine the winner, guys. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Find out who won Raw or SmackDown, Scott or Lee. Who's it going to be? We'll see you guys in the next video.